Hello, everyone. I am, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> I'm not usually speechless <laughs> when I first turn on the camera. Um, I think because I started out different. This is Wednesday, April the 8th, and it's 8, 8.36 a.m. And this particular video that I want to share with you is all facts. And you know what amazes me is it got 23 thumbs down. <laughs> They're saying, no, no, your facts are wrong. Your facts are wrong. Well, I don't think so. I, I believe this guy is as honest as he can be. Sure, we're all wrong. We all can share something from a bad source that we believe is a good source. And it turns out to be not a good source. We all have done it. Well, many of us. The title is The Shocking Mortality Rate If You're Smarter Than Most People This Is For You. Well, let me explain. When I first started listening to this, this is logic before authority. I think many people just don't like Daniel. It's like with me, I, I'll put out something that's, I'll get a thumbs down and it'll be, a, a, used to be, I uh, get a thumbs down. For, it didn't matter what it was about. It didn't matter if it was a prayer request for a baby. Thumbs down, <laughs> you know, just because someone didn't like me. So, but I don't think 23 would do that here. What he's doing is showing numbers like at the very beginning. Here's a chart. It's charts and numbers. And I, it's from April 6th. All right. So it's just two days old. And he's giving numbers. And he's using the numbers the government gives. So maybe they got a thumbs down. He got a thumbs down because he's using numbers the government gives and the government lies. I don't know. The point is he gives the starting population, the elite population in bunkers. Hmm. I don't remember him saying where he got that number. Well, that was probably when I first started listening and it was like going right over my head. I was just too tired to take it all in. The initial infection he puts as a 1. So yeah, there's a first case and everything. The infection rate is 2.27 incubation time. He put his 5 days. But I have heard five to seven or five to fourteen days. So that's that that number can be variable. The mortality rate is zero point zero zero five percent. They've got the country locked down for something that is less deadly than the flu. The annual flu. And yes, those of you who know somebody, which reminds me, I had one commenter speak of how she thinks Fauci, Fauci, however you pronounce his name, is doing a good job and she's all for all this because her relative is really suffering with it and it's really hurting her well if they had told you that the relative has influenza and not cv would you feel any different would it not hurt your heart just as much would you did you think last year and this is just I'm going to throw this out to everybody. Alright. If they had come on the news and said, Okay, folks, it's flu season. Shut down your businesses. Because we had 500,000 deaths last year. 
And we don't want that to happen to you because we care about you. And they're making this all out like they care about us. Really? When their goal is to get the world population down to 500 million or less. There's nearly 8 billion people on the planet. Their plan is to get rid of the other 7 point whatever billion people. They want the world's population down to 500 million or less. Now you think about that. This is the elite, the Illuminati, Satan, if you will, and his minions, which are all the 13 bloodlines that form the Illuminati and everyone that works for them. And Trump is one of them and don't think he's not. They do not care about you. All of this is to shut down the world's economy to convert us over to a cashless society. He goes into that $1,200 that you'll get if you sign up for it. It comes to you like a debit card. You can go to a grocery store and use it. You can order stuff online with it. But you can't go to an ATM machine and get cash with it. You cannot go to a bank and convert it to cash. Give it to the bank and get $1,200. It is strictly a debit card. And he was talking about it being a monthly stipend. Now, I hadn't heard about that. But the thing is, we're looking at a cashless society here because cash carries germs and people who are getting so germophobic that they can't leave without a mask and gloves on because they don't want to catch anybody's germs will be so all for it oh yeah give me that debit card in place of I don't know if it's for people with a lot of money, is it going to be for everybody? Is everybody's paycheck going to start coming in the form of a card? Will we go through that? Before, you know, it doesn't really matter. What he's pointing out, though, is that they're doing all of this. Stay at home. Can't go out to eat. Can't go to the movies. You can't even golf. The canceled golf tournaments. Well, you know, millions of people would go to watch. And they're standing shoulder to shoulder. You can't have that during an epidemic. Or, excuse me, pandemic. Now, can you? And yet I hear that at Walmart. Now, I don't know if this is true of our local Walmart. But some people have been to Walmarts. And said, they've got it where everybody has to squeeze through a small entrance. The same entrance in and out. Now doesn't that put you less than six feet together? Of course it does. What's up with that? Unless they were reporting it wrongly. I mean, because usually there's an exit. I mean, an entrance, and then pretty far over here is the exit. Why would they not both be open? I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to end it here. You can watch it or not. But if you really want to know the truth about the numbers, if you're a numbers guy or gal, this is for you. Otherwise, just skip it. But he's asking people to share it so people will see that they're doing all this, shutting down the country and the economy over something that's not even as deadly as the annual flu. Which, in my honest opinion, this is the annual flu. I don't know.
But I don't, it doesn't matter. It's half as deadly as the flu. A lot of people getting sick and they're recovering at home, just like with the flu. How do you explain that if it's so deadly that they have to shut down the economy? I could sneeze on, on my cash with a cold. And if someone touches it soon enough after I hand it over, if I don't stick it in my pocket for a few days where the germs will die. Anyway, just think about it. I pray this will go up so people can learn the truth. You need to know that this, what the measures they're taking they should encourage people to use a mask every flu season, just like they do in Japan. You'll see pictures of Japan, people in airports and stuff, wearing masks all the time. I've seen it for years now. Why don't they do that here? It's just a question. So I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. So it'll go up and over myself and my computer and internet connection. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you. Whether you watched his video or not, I gave you a little summary. If you don't believe me, watch his video. And I plead the blood of Jesus over you and your computer or device, whatever you use. And the internet connection that you have. And with that I'll say bye for now. I will talk to you later.